Good morning. Uh, this is the day two in GLE 2020, and I'm Dr. Jane. Today I'm the hosting of your live stream. Today we are going to work through seven enterprises and a company in this GLE 2020, and I'm your host, and we'll show you around how those cross board lighting tray they are doing those companies how they are doing and today we are covering those uh, industrial lighting LED lighting covering the outdoor and the indoor LED lighting oh uh, so what's the enlightenment and what's the lights attract us so today we will in review you walk through this GLE we will cover two halls two halls today so seven enterprises and the companies this morning is our target so let's go This is the day two of GLE 2020, and it's the uh, in October in Guangzhou. The weather is so cool today. Actually, as you know, that the GLE is always in the June, and the June is very hot and humid. But instead of June today, we have the October GLE the exhibition. The weather is so cool. <laughs> it's so good. We have the sunshine outside. And now we are having our first enterprise attack, first company. <laughs> okay, this is our first company. This company is called Shenzhen Fiat LED Company. And we are welcoming our Jaden. Uh, nice, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Dr. Jane, and I'm the host. Uh, what's your name, please? Uh, Jaden, please. Jaden. Yes. Jaden. Okay, let me give our camera to Jaden. Uh, say hello. Hello, my uh, dear uh, friends. This is Jaden from FYT LED. And my great honor to represent FYT LED and share, to share some up-to-date products to you. But before introducing the specific type of our luminaire, allow me to have some minutes to help you better understand FYT LED. Uh, since our foundation in 2008, Generations of FYD LED family has endeavored to supply, manufacture, and design high-efficient OEM or ODL solutions to electrical distributors, value-added resellers, uh, energy service companies, and also project contractors, etc. Oh, so yes. So we have uh, uh, in 2016 and 2017. We were granted Shenzhen City and China National High Tech Enterprise. Okay, so you have so, two bases. Yes. yes this is the honor uh -huh. that less than 1.5% okay. of over 1, uh, 5,000 Shenzhen LED factories could achieve. Okay. So we have the top quality of the LED light suppliers. Okay. So we have our independent uh, backers workshop, a JYT. And also we have our Tonka Light Driver brand. And you can see the introduction here. Um, the videos will be uh, present, uh, played over and over again. So you can know more about it. And as you can see in the booth, FYD LED products uh, has a divided into a divided into uh, stadium lights and you can see some uh, floods here, flood line here sir. and also UFO uh, highway lights so let's begin uh, from UFO highway lights let's come here again uh, FYT Albany has achieved top 5 China highway exporter in 2017 so uh, the strength of our uh, hybrid lines lies in strong R&D ability uh, because we mentioned that, just now we mentioned that we have our uh, die-cast uh, factory and we have our own driver so we can make this uh, our hybrid lights more trustworthy and with quick quality tight and this is the reason why we can uh, made this uh, high performance and like Hero 
This is our economic, but high efficient highway, super high efficient highway. Um, it supports its voltage uh, ranges from 100 watts to 200, uh, 200 watts. So, but its light efficiency could be 130 lumens per watt or 150 lumens per watt. And uh, yes, it could be as high as 108 lumens per watt. So, this is uh, according to uh, with high efficiency of 180 lumens per watt, uh, we could save nearly 40% of energy compared to 130 lumens per watt market standard. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, because this is a low, a low cost highway model, but with some models, we have some uh, potential meters that we could a slim down the voltage uh, to as as much as 60 percent. So in this way, uh, wholesalers could slim his stock keeping unit, and we could help uh, contractors uh, to adjust to light level of light output in specific projects. So this is a very uh, big uh, advantage of our Hero Highway. Yes, this advantage is really Yeah, yeah. And this is 110 degree optic. And we also could trace something like this. The circular uh, degree with... Different shape and a different energy. Yes, with a uh, different optic. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we could uh, choose to 60 degree optic. And a 90 degree optic. So they could fit for different heights of a uh, warehouse and high holes uh -huh. and logistic centers, etc. So, and um, Future Highway has two housings. This is the bigger one, big, bigger housing. And um, its voltage could be 100 watts to uh, 240 watts. So, uh, compared to low cost highway, you know, like this, we use uh, 250 millimeters or 280 millimeter diameter housing for 100 watts and 150 uh, watts. But future highway, we use uh, 320 millimeter diameter for 100, and one, 100 watts and 150 watts. So, we have bigger housing yeah. and for uh, same voltage. So, according to our temperature test, the LED soldering temperature yeah. is around 47 degrees Celsius. Uh, when, when tested in ambient of 25 degrees Celsius, um, that is around 15 yeah. to 20 uh, degrees Celsius lower than that of using a smaller housing. housing. Yes, so we can say the quality of future will be much better. And for future, we have some smart functions like a, a building plug and play a motion sensor. So this is a low voltage yeah. and it's a 12 voltage input. And the 12 voltage is say voltage so we don't need uh, electricians to uh, for uh, during installations. You know, the uh, uh, overall uh, electrician cost is very expensive. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think that yeah. they're cutting the money from the electrician just left yes. the house. Yes. <laughs> Instead, uh, counting ordinary people like me could install this sensor uh, in 10 seconds. Yes. Yes. So we could we could help customers to. The, the wholesalers don't need to stock uh, many, many uh, highways. Uh, instead, they could install uh, with maybe uh, hundreds of pieces of sensors, and then they could let end customers choose whether they need uh, customers or not. You know, uh, in previous uh, version of Mer uh, highway, that is used a uh, Meritech rank. So it has to install the sensor. Uh, for example, like this way. So we, we have to install the uh, sensor before treatment. So this is the because of the complicated wirings. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 
And this way, uh, if we need to install the sensors, so that customers must in, uh, told us when they place the order, so this could delay their projects. Yeah. Especially some customers don't uh, hesitate for the sensors oh. or not. Yeah, so you save the time and the energy. Yes, that exactly. That this is high bay. Yeah, it's very efficient. Okay, and we come to the floodlight. Yeah. Uh, here's our uh, uh, champion floodlight. Yes, here it is. There's it. Uh, we have four modules of our champion floodlight. So, its voltage ranges from 30 watt to 300 watt, and we have four housings to assure its light, ex, ex, uh, light uh, his cooling ability. And also, this uh, 300 watt, it could be a huge market strength because uh, this is our private mode, and very few public mode pot light could offer uh, 300 watts. So this is a big uh, a strength of us, and. It's light efficiency. Uh, it has three light efficiencies, uh, 140 lumens per rock, with various types of optic, as you can see here. And we can also choose to 150 lumens per rock at 120 degree bin angle, and could as, get as high as 180 lumens per rock. So this is a very high efficiency and a very high lumen output for the champion floodlight. And I think uh, also in the football uh, fields, we can talk later. Yeah. But I want to show you some more details uh -huh. of the uh, champion floodlight. Yeah. As you can see, we use massive aluminum to assure its super cooling ability. You can see the fins, the heavy fins of the on the back and uh, in the bottom. That you can see, this is an aluminum breather. This breather could uh, reduce, avoid, to balance the inside and outside housing uh, uh, bread pressures. So, and we can also emit the heat, which is generated by the uh, LEDs. So in this way, no water drops will be attached to the uh, glass. So this is also we made this uh, uh, champion floodlight a, a top quality of the floodlight series. And just now the hostess mentioned that uh, this floodlight could be uh, used as a spot lighting or not. And for this U bracket, that we could change as a people lighting, for example, like um, sorry, I don't have. So like this. Then the U bracket uh, turns down as like this because as the stadium light. Okay. You want to turn it uh, not uh, thank you. <laughs> it's heavy. Like yeah. yeah. And the advantage of thought lights, I could add as a slip filter like this, and then we could add as a street light. Yes, and also. Uh, with people lighting, uh, could also with this uh, spike slip filter, we could add as a slip filter and people lightings. So now let's move to uh, area light, area light, and the street lights. This is our, our Edison area light, and it has three housings uh, for 60 watt to 100 uh, to 300. 300 watts and uh, its light efficiency is basically 140 lumens per watt uh, that is about 10 lumens per watt higher of, than that of similar products in the market okay and we can also have increased to a higher voltage of 160 lumens per watt so we could uh, save more energy this is the uh, energy saving is one of the most important goal, yeah, for luminous, and it has uh, three types of optic, so it's like uh, type three, type four, and type five.
So we can meet most of the projects in the market. Yes, and on the back, it's quite uh, dizzy. So I turn off the light, and you can see the cover is on the dark side. This cover is on the dark side. So no water drops, we can stick to the uh, cover. And this is a way to increase the waterproof standard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, on the top, so it's uh, quite high. At the top, you can also uh, choose Nimasaki and adopt a photo cell. So photo cell could dim the, could dim the light to a certain level in the, in the, in the night. Yes. So it could, it's a way to save energy. Save energy yes. yes. Solar. Yeah. And for mountains, we have a slip fit test, but we can also have change to square mount and also york mount. So if you have any uh, inquiry of uh, area lights, uh, come to FYT LED, and we can suggest the best solutions to you. Okay, and here is our nearest street light. Uh, we have uh, we have four housings. We have four housings for narrow pro street light, and its voltage is from 30 watt uh, to 240 watt. So its uh, temperature temperature uh, management is uh, super good for us, and we take care of the details of the uh, cooling abilities. So it has a type two and a type three uh, optics for the optics. And with EMC uh, 50-50 LED, its light efficiency could reach 140 lumens per watt. So it's also a very high uh, efficiency in the market. And for the spiker, for the spiker mount, we have two models that, but we can fit for uh, 42 millimeter, 60 millimeter, and 76 millimeter uh, pole. This is 60 millimeter pole, but we use one mode, one pole, and for two, uh, for two uh, spider mount for three uh, pole size. So this is a, a creative uh, invention for us. Yeah, uh, on the top, uh, you cannot see here. On the top is a clip. That is a clip uh, for uh, easy installations and for uh, convenient maintenance. So you uh, just need to uh, click the uh, clip and then open the uh, chamber. Uh, inside the chamber, that is a level meter. So when the electricians install the uh, street lights, the street light won't need to uh, lean down to one side or the other side. So we can keep the uh, level level of the uh, street lights. So, and also there will be a, a breather just now mentioned in the floor light. And this breather will be easy for us and it will be better for the narrow uh, street light and it could uh, keep the balance of the air. So mo no moisture will stick on the glass and this will this no, no uh, yeah, this cannot uh, reduce the glass. That this is the reason why we have to install the breather for the uh, street lights. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, finally, we come to the sports lighting, and um, as you can see, this is our 3605 sports light. It has a very super wide range of voltage. You can see from that end, that is 200 watts, uh, 300, 400, and 500, 600, 800, and 1,600 wattage. And this is a very high voltage uh, range of this uh, uh, series. And its light efficiency is also 140 lumens per watt. That is about 10 lumens per watt uh, higher uh, in a, than of the previous version. And it has seven times of optics, so such as uh, 15 degree, 10 degree, 30 degree. Okay. Yes, it's many, many uh, optics for your selections. And it could 
uh, meet all the different uh, project requirements for these uh, flood lights. And I want to show you some details of our quality control. And you can see, when you look closely at the optics, you can see the screws is bypassed the silicon gasket. It's bypassed the silicon gaskets. And this, this design could also include the waterproof standard. Uh, as you can see, when uh, workers assemble the silicons, the, this could avoid the screws expanding the silicons well through the directly into the silicons. So this is the way for us to improve its life extender, uh, waterproof standard. And on the back, we have uh, drawer boxes, and this is also another way for waterproof, uh, for waterproof standard. You know, when you see some uh, high mass lights in the market, uh, their drivers are exposed out of the luminaire. Instead, space between the luminaire and the driver. So we could reduce the heat transmittance from the luminaire and the driver. And this is our way to help prolong its lifespan. Okay? Okay, let's move to... Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's come to the uh, 37. I will miss some customers there, so we come to here. And this is our 3710 floodlight series. And as you can see, it has four voltages. And this one module heat sink is available with uh, 400 watts and 500 watts. And this two, with two heat sinks to joined together, it could be available with 800 watts and 1000 watts. And as you can see, they also have many optics and by adopting with EM, EMC 3030 LED and that is light efficiency could reach 40 lumens per block and if we change to EMC 5050 LED its light efficiency could reach 150 lumens per block and we oh, <laughs> super heavy, oh, super heavy. <laughs> On the back, yeah, as you can see, uh, this this weight, the net weight of this luminaire reaches about uh, 35 kilograms. So we we are sure this luminaire in, operates in 1,000 watt. It can also has very a uh, uh, very good uh, heat dissipation. Yeah. And like the 3605 uh, fault line we mentioned just now. It's also on top uh, with the driver box. So, and um, this is a way we increase, increase the water uh, management. And these uh, fault lights are usually in uh, place in outdoors. So we have to, we add a 10 kV SPD. So for, to against lightning and thunder. So, this is wait for to prolong its lifespan, and we can see here there's a rod holder. Uh -huh. We lease the space to adopt the photo cell. This uh, this is another way to save energy. Okay. This is the uh, reason. So if you have any project requirements, uh, in stadium, uh, ports, a uh, public uh, areas. That this uh, this type of luminaire will be a good solution for you. Wow. Yeah. So we come to the uh, winner and uh, on the flight line. So this is the round mo round model of our uh, winner flight light. It has two housings. Uh, the smaller one could be available with 300 watts and 500 watts. The bigger housing 
is available with uh, 750 watts to 1000 watt and it has four optics 15 degree 30 degree uh, 60 degree and 90 degree so with all these functions and with this uh, glare shield they can project the, uh, the light output in a very good uh, directions and to direct the light in a certain place for the uh, uh, target areas and like the all other uh, front lights they also have the uh, driver box this is the way we transfer to the uh, to reduce with the waterproof standard and increase the uh, thermal management okay uh, this is uh, in a very compact design but our 1000 model reach uh, about 30 kilograms uh, for its net weight so it's, it's very good weight for its uh, we don't compromise in its uh, thermal management and finally we have our on the floor light uh, as you can see it also has two models uh, this is the big model and it also supports with 750 watts to 1000 watts and this smaller housing is available with 400 watts and 650 watts so it's very uh, we have uh, four modules uh, from voltage uh, from 300 watt to uh, 1000 watt this is uh, our trend for the coming two to three years uh, in this voltage and the difference between all the fault lights with the other three fault lights last in that it has it combined with uh, two or three single uh, modules so this module could adjust the angles uh, in the certain directions so it could uh, light up a wider area of the target uh, uh, places so this is a way uh, different from the other three uh, modules and it also the drivers could be separated or integrated version with these modules and can also we could take out the uh, driver module with a remote controllers so this is the the way that why it could uh, uh, outstand uh, in the compared to that of the other products in the market so all in all my friends uh, FYT LBD could be a could be your trustworthy uh, industrial and commercial lighting partners and seems the time limitations and I don't have a chance to introduce our uh, tripod lines or linear high bay so if you are in also in the fair uh, come to FYT LBD and we talk more face to face for more products so uh, please come join us uh, to um, for 5.1 and B17 stamp. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Jaden. Oh, very nice introduction. Very nice uh, introduction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, scan this QR code for us. Uh, and this name card. And um, this is our boss uh, mail address. You can yes, you can add uh, Tom's address uh, for more product details. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jaden. Very, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, you paid a hard work yeah, on this. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you okay. Much. See you, everyone. Thank see you. you. See you. Bye.